at the interior journey right now is at the Coex Green Works indoor farm. And standing next to me is my dear friend Ashley. Uh, he is the founder of Coex Green Works. And I would like to introduce you what he does and uh, what this wonderful indoor farm does. Uh, my name is Ashley, as you know, and I am the uh, founder and uh, farmer here at Coex Green Works right here in Taichung. Okay, so what uh, got you into the business of uh, baby grains growing? Well, uh, right from myself being a youngster, I enjoyed growing very simple vegetables like radish or carrots in my backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and then after arriving in Taiwan, perhaps three, four years later, I discovered rooftops. Uh, were open spaces that many people didn't use and uh, so then I started growing vegetables on rooftops using a variety of different ways including okay. traditional like soil mm -hmm. but also aquaponics which uses fish mm -hmm. and, uh, and their, uh, their runoff as well as hydroponics. How I landed uh, with indoor farming actually came about uh, from a building I was in in Taichung Central District, uh, considered semi-abandoned, but uh, I did have a proper lease agreement to be in the building. And uh, speaking with some friends, they had suggested that I start growing microgreens because they need to be grown indoors, or at least in an environment that is uh, absent of any extreme elements like excessive and microgreens are something you can grow in any indoor space, whether small or large. Uh, the difference between soil and uh, hydroponics, which uses a nutrient solution, and the taste differential. So here in the farm, we still use soil, which is a traditional uh, way of farming. Although it's a little bit more inconvenient and requires more effort, I would much rather produce a healthier and better tasting vegetable uh, relative to the other types of growth. So as for the brief tour, uh, I'll introduce some of the greens that I currently grow and distribute throughout the city. Uh, just next to me here is kale. And this is quite a popular one. It's got a gorgeous dark green tint to the leaf and a beautiful uh, purple, sorry, purple stem that you can see there. Just below the kale is another popular one. And this is the one I mentioned earlier, arugula. So it's very simple by look. It's got a nice white stem as well, but a really distinct peppery flavor. And this one here, purple or red cabbage, Hong Gao Li Cai. And it's absolutely gorgeous, one of my favorites. It's got a green leaf, but around the outside edge, a purple uh, lining, and as well, another purple stemmed microgreen. Xiao Bai Cai, yep, or Chinese cabbage. Down below that uh, is broccoli, which is a standard that I use for the mixed salads. Because it's a younger plant, it's got a stronger flavor. Uh, some would say a little bit on the bitter side, uh, but it's got a very, very similar taste to the fully grown broccoli. Okay, so why do I want to do this? Well, I, I absolutely enjoy growing vegetables uh, and knowing that I'm growing vegetables that are very healthy and full of flavor and also quite beautiful it, uh, it is really important to me. Something else I really enjoy throughout the day I deliver pretty much all the products that I grow and harvest and on my delivery route and I get to speak to them about their lives and a quick hello and how much you eat them but all together for me I enjoy the Activity, the interactivity with so many people throughout the
coming by and I always have a uh, what I call open door policy. So visitors are always welcome to yeah. come by, see what we're doing here, and ask as many questions as you'd like. So thank you, Jen, for coming by. Thank you, Ashley. Have a good one.